This is four years in the making and I can't believe that I'm actually here. I'm so excited to start flight training and yet I'm terrified I am not going to succeed. We chose Sporties because of their reputation for their flight school and I'm certainly going to put that to the test. I'm looking forward to even learning about the basic things like pre-flighting. As soon as we rotated and we started climbing out off the runway, I realized that she is definitely a lot more comfortable than most students in airplanes in general. She had a very light grip on the controls, which is very good. A lot of times people will have the uh, death grip on the yoke and they'll be over controlling the plane all the time and we're bouncing left and right and center and uh, she did not do that. Let's, uh, let's climb up to 3,500 feet. All right. 100 to go. All right. All right, leveling out. Yep. Power back to 22. Yep. All right, let's turn to the right. Let's get a little bit bigger bank in here. 30 degrees is this little white line right there. Look at that, nice. A little bit of right rudder as we turn here. Great. You're doing good. Pick the nose up just slightly. Yeah, yep. nice, good. I like 30 degrees. Yeah, it's nice. Soon you'll be doing steep turns at 45 Don't degrees. say that, don't say that, don't <laughs> say that. <laughs> okay, let's level out. All right, 35. She tends to get fixated yeah. a little bit sometimes on the inside of the aircraft instead of looking outside. Like she says, learning IFR before VFR, so focusing on instruments more than she does the visual references. Okay. And you're looking outside still, too. I, I, weirdly enough, I... I'm telling you, very big downside. I learned IFR first. You're like, wow, the ground is so cool. I know. <laughs> that's, I'm like, that's the most exciting part is yeah. being so low and actually seeing things. All right, so part of 15. All right, so 15. 10 degrees of flaps. 10 degrees one knot, right? Yep. Okay, awesome. Nose up, nose up. Come on. You're using your pitch for your airspeed and your power for your altitude. So a little bit more power. All right, here's our right. five. Yep, and we can turn left base now. She took it all the way down to short final, and that's where I took over and landed it. Um, she is she gets nervous getting close to the ground, so she's not ready for landings yet. Overall, it just went much better than I thought it would for a first flight. First flight went well, but all that's doing is putting more pressure on me for the next flight. So on a scale of 1 to 10 for the first flight, I'd probably put her at about a 7. The 7 is just based off of what we did on the first flight, which was only straight and level climbs, turns, descents. We haven't gotten into anything as far as maneuvers are related, so that could go down within the next few flights. There's a very real possibility that the 7 drops down uh, within the next couple of days, but we'll see what happens. Are you ready? So. Okay. Will be. I am. Yes. You okay. are ready. <laughs> Clemmer County traffic, 121 Uniform Charlie is departing runway 4, departure to the... As predicted, her flying did get a little worse, and it's weird because it actually started at the takeoff. I started overcorrecting the rudder, which was getting a little uncontrolled. 
Tower is set. Way center left line. We got it under control now. 55. I pulled back. Rotate. Couldn't pull back. Like it just. Uh, bring it up. up. I'm on. I didn't pull back hard enough, I guess. Goes down a little bit. Yep, you can trim down a little if you need it. I was fine with the expectation that whatever, if that happened, that happened. But then he goes, we're a little too left and a little too close for comfort there. Like, like he was nervous. That takeoff was a little close for comfort on that left side. Yes. But that's okay, we're up and flying now. Got to be able to put it behind us, focus on what we're doing right now. And him saying whatever comment he did made me go, oh, f I just made him nervous. So, next thing we're going to talk about is stalls. You ready for this? For this whole flight, she was quite a bit we, more tense than she was during the first flight. I've never experienced slow flight or a stall before, so I have no idea what to expect. So there's a lot of things that we can learn from stalls. Why do we practice stalls? Do you have any idea? So you know what to look for to recover. Yeah, exactly. That's a big one. We practice stalls to learn how to recover from stalls, not how to learn how to stall. Okay, I'm gonna hand you the controls and I'm gonna walk you through um, just what I did. You're not gonna stall the plane, your controls by the way. My controls. Uh, you're not gonna stall the plane, you're gonna get close to it and you're gonna recover it all by yourself. And I'll, I'll walk you through this as we go as well. Okay. All right, you got this, I, I believe in you. Again, I'm so hyper-focused on, tell me the numbers, tell me the exact numbers, tell me everything I need to do so I can, you know, do it perfect and not just, I guess, listening, but I need those step-by-steps. So let's bring power to 1500. All right, 10 degrees of flaps. Let's right. pitch up a little bit. Oh, yes. That's what I'm pretty loose. Okay, so 1500. Flaps 10. And Claremont County, Evan, and you can bring the flaps down more. Pop those over top of Owensville, sign me through 2,700. And you can put them in the middle. Claremont North tracks there. All right, so now pitch down here to pitch for 65 knots. So as you pitch down, you'll see your airspeed will increase. And you're just going to ho hold it here for a second. All right, so you just hold it here. Pitch down more. We're looking for 65 knots. Again, we're pretending like we're coming in on final. So we got the runway out in front of us. We're coming in on final approach. Okay, now you're going to pull the power to idle. You're just going to start to bring the nose up slowly. Bring the nose up. Yep, bring it up more. More back pressure. Yep, more back pressure. Yep, just hold it steady. Hold it steady. There you go. Hold it steady. Hold it steady. Bring it back up. Okay, go. Full right. power. Full power. The nose down. Yep, nose down. And you need right rudder as well now. And now bring out your flaps, 10 degrees. Good. And now you can do next 10. Good. Uh, as we're approaching VY here, you can bring out those last flaps now. Yeah, you're good. Okay, my controls. Take a deep breath. Oh, you did it. Okay. Good job. Okay. How was that? Tell me about it. When you hear somebody doing it, it's more daunting than doing it. So you felt more in control than when I was doing it? Yeah, Right, absolutely. that makes a lot of sense, okay? Because you were in control. Right. Which is a good sign for me, you know, because that tells me that she's starting to trust a herself a little bit. Because you, 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 you trust yourself clearly to be able to recover it, from the right. stall, right? Exactly. And the fact that you felt, you felt more comfortable with you doing it than with me doing it, that's a good sign. Now, I wish you were very comfortable with me doing it, because I'm, I'm an amazing pilot, to be honest, but no, I'm just kidding. So, are you ready to kind of try the power on configuration of these stalls? Okay, so, pull power. Yeah, no, I'm sir. sorry, I'm sorry, pull back, pull back power to about 1300. Yep. Hitch up, yep. about 25, and then, Stall horn two, three times, or up to around two. Up to two, five, and then. Okay, well. I'm thinking too much about it, and that's why. Yeah, we just gotta do it. Yeah, okay. Okay. 
Tower so 13. 1300. And you're just pitching up slowly to maintain your altitude. And that means that your airspeed's going to slow down. And eventually it's going to get to 55 knots. So too much. Well, it depends on how quickly you want to slow down. <laughs> Pitch up a little bit more. But like, we can also use just a little bit of trim to help. Okay. We don't want to trim it too nose high because then it could actually, you know, stall when we put in full power. Okay. okay, so... Pick the nose up more. Here, I'll trim you up a little bit more. But now our power on stalls were a bit of a struggle. We, she, and now our speed's uh, down. we talked about how much right rudder you there need, and it doesn't matter how much you talk about it, they never understand, right? So <laughs> uh, we did our first one, and the ball just slid way out to the right. Okay, let's go full power, let's pitch up, and let's go right rudder. And we kind of do all three simultaneously. Full power, pitch up, right rudder. Yes, there you go. Good job. It looks good so far. Yep, you're above 20 degrees, that's good. Keep it up there. Again, we need a little bit more back pressure as we go. More right rudder. Yep. Okay, now pitch down. Good job. Good job. We didn't quite have enough right rudder that whole time. Or we, we had it at the beginning, but we lost it as we continued to get slower. Uh, we never really got the hang completely of the power on stalls. But weirdly enough, she said those were easier than the power off stalls, so that I don't know what that tells me. As how many things you have to do at once. I feel like power off stall was harder for me than the power on. How do you feel? I feel like you, I feel like I really saw a difference uh, between when we started this flight and now. What do you think? Uh, um. I feel, how do I want to say, more confident because that's a scary word. Is it daunting? Yes, but it's also, it's more the four things at once and knowing what the four things are yes. and then tweaking them and not doing that. Yes, you said yes. 2,500? Uh, yep, 2,500. So that's how I feel about that. I think one of my biggest obstacles is going to be rudder control and actually having enough strength to maneuver around. Her physical control of the airplane is very good. It's the mental aspect that we need to get there. So that's the thing that's keeping her back right now. I'm sharing my journey to help other students realize that they're not the only ones that feel intimidated about going to flight training. She probably has a bit more anxiety and fear than a typical student than I would see in someone. But I think it's gonna be something that we can work through. Um, but. It, we're gonna have to take it one step at a time. Full putter. There you go. Yep, now just keep that right rudder in. Left hand, there you go. So our plan is to go up uh, and review slow flight, uh, keep building on the blocks that we've already laid down, but then also uh, practice stalls. Now, we may have to take it slowly at first, I, I really don't know how she's going to react. Usually can get a good grasp of how people are going to feel for stalls, but with her, I don't know, at one moment she says she's terrified, and the next moment she says it's not as scary as she thought it was going to be. So uh, it's, it's hard to get a good grasp. I, I feel like there's going to be a lot of, of reaching for things near her to grab onto as those first stalls are happening. As long as it's not the controls, that's fine. With rudder. Yes, you're looking good. 25. Now hold it there, a little bit of right hand around, not much. Yeah, there you go. And rudder, rudder, Yep, rudder. more back, pick it up, okay. the nose up, back pressure, back pressure. There it is, push down, yep. 1,800, turns around a point, Clermont County, uh, north practice. All right, 85. Clermont County traffic, 121, one, uniform Charlie, turning left base, runway 22, Clermont County. As we turn final, you can go ahead and go 30 now. Right, and now we're, we're 65, right? Pitch yep, 65. 65. And you'll need a little nose lower. Clermont County traffic, 121 Uniform Charlie, final runway 22, Clermont County. Side right, step to the right a little bit yeah. with your aileron and your aileron a little bit of rudder too. I don't know, but practice. All right, let's do a go around, full power. Okay, full power. And first 10 degrees of flaps up. Clermont County traffic, 121 Uniform Charlie, going around runway 22, stay in the pattern, come on. 
this is just a this is just a prediction for the first time she comes in to land and we still have not done any landing practice yet first time she comes in here's what she's gonna do she's gonna get down uh, close to ground effect and she's just gonna yank the nose up because she doesn't want to get close to the ground that's exactly what's gonna happen I'm saying it right now so that when it happens I'm gonna look right at the camera and I'm gonna say see I told you and she's not gonna know exactly anything I'm talking about all right you can bring some power out you can bring it all the way to idle actually Idle, all right. Yep, keep that nose down for Here's now. Idle. Keep the nose down. Oh. To the right a little bit more. Now start to bring that uh, nose up a little bit. Uh, You're good. Too much. Let's go around. Around power hour. Flaps 20. Yep. I told you so. Sorry, that's right, no, just between me and the fans. Nose up more. Yep, add a little bit of power here. Good, okay, now you can take that power to idle. Now pick the nose up a little. Yep, there you go. Just hold it there, hold it there. Now bring it up a little more. Hold it there, though, up too much. That's okay, now bring it up again. Clear any traffic, 515, Yeah, that's it. Careful that rudder. I got you, I got you. <laughs> now bring it up a little more. Hold it there, though, up too much. That's okay, now bring it up again. Clear any traffic, 515, Yeah, that's it. Base, two, two. Careful that rudder. I got you, I got you. <laughs> Alright, let's do our after landing yeah. checklist. Okay, there it is. <laughs> after landing checklist. Her physical control of the airplane is very good. It's the mental aspect that we need to get there. So that's the thing that's keeping her back right now. The activity of doing it is not an issue. I'm not scared to do it. But when I sit here and I'm pulling back as hard as I can, and I can't literally physically pull anymore. Keeping that nose down until we got right above the runway, bringing in the round out, starting to bring in the flare, that added back pressure on the yoke, and she buttered her first landing. Like literally, I didn't do anything and she buttered it. <laughs> 